Hey everybody, what's going on? Fabian for Liberty, FabianforLiberty.com. So, all right, let's cover entrepreneurship. Let's cover how we deal with that in the economic collapse, right? Um, I'm going to give you some pointers of what I think. Um, I probably get a dozen emails a day about, Fabian, what do I do, right? Um, I saw this, the reason I wanted to do this video is because I saw this article um, in the, uh, the uh, what's it called, LA Times. And it was basically saying how a family's path veered. And it's talking about this family and this lady who was an eighth grade English teacher and basically had you know, all these goals that she had set for herself, which was all great. She was going to travel to Africa and be you know, an assistant charity work, all this stuff. She was just finishing up her divorce, all this stuff. But then uh, the crisis hit. It says here that um, when the financial uh, crisis struck in 2008, she was abandoned, it abandoned her dreams. And these days, she's just trying to hold her family together. Five people squeeze into a thousand square foot house because they can't afford to live anywhere else. She's supporting her ex-husband, their daughter, an unemployed son-in-law, and a grandchild. But here's the important, interesting point. They kind of throw into this mix a lot of propaganda. This is the LA Times, mind you. And it says, quote, Although the economy is recovering and stock prices are setting records, which, does anybody within the sound of my voice believe any of that? The economy is recovering? I mean, are asset prices increasing? Yeah. Should you take advantage of it? Of course you should. But does that mean overall, like, real growth is, is recovering? Of course not. It's inflation. Anybody that has half a brain realizes this. So real growth is down. The growth they report, uh, the government reports, uh, which is abysmal even with the inflation being created, is just that inflation. I'll give you the best example um, that was taught to me by a few of my you know, people that I look up to in this area, which is if you know, 20 years ago, you had a company that was building um, 10 widgets, and they were selling those 10 widgets for a dollar. Well, that was their production then. Well, today, the growth for that same company, they're only building five widgets, but they're selling those five widgets for now... $2, $3. So real growth has gone down. The only thing that's contributing to higher accounting or higher growth standards based on the UN accounting model that now the US has to follow is simply inflation. That's it. But I'll get to this other point here real quick, which is totally true, which is that millions of middle class Americans have been left behind. Their financial expectations have been greatly diminished. In income has stagnated. Jobs are so hard to come by. Unemployed people who find work often have to pay, have to face pay cuts. The hardships cut across all age groups. Young people are saddled with student debt and have a hard time finding jobs they want after college. Mid-career workers are supporting their grown children and aging parents while worried about their own finances. The article goes on and on. You can find it at the LA Times. So what do you do about it? All of us, or should I say most of us here that, you know, that at least watch these videos, know the economy is faltering. And, and I believe many of you believe like I do that there is a significant uh, event on the horizon that will fundamentally alter the economy. Now, the truth is, and I just showed you again how the media in collusion with government keeps spewing propaganda to keep people dumbed down. They don't want people to know about inflation. They don't want people to know about quantitative easing. But at the same token, they don't want people to know about entrepreneurship. They don't want to know that the truth is that an individual can accomplish anything they set their mind to do. Anything. Anything that you seek to do, to become, to achieve, you can achieve it. But, of course, our criminal media doesn't want people to know that because they need people dependent on government. They need people dependent on this false notion that the only way you can get ahead is by either voting for Republicans or Democrats or hoping that they fix the economy. Well, what about this? What about fixing your own economy? Now, I, um, I do it through real estate investing. I've been a real estate investor for 12 years. Um, I've helped thousands of other people become real estate investors that were totally clueless about real estate investing because the truth is you can start with no experience. And if that's something you're interested in, you can check it out at resourcefulrealestateacademy.com, resourcefulrealestateacademy.com. Uh, and it's a whole program course DVD, people that actually purchase that get access to communicate with me, which I email with them, trying to help them become an entrepreneur. But like I've said in the past as well, real estate may not be for you, it may not be for everyone. There's a ton of 
just false premises and myths about real estate investing, and I've heard them all, especially since I've been doing these videos and talking about this program. But again, it doesn't matter whether it's real estate investing, whether you decide to invest in my course or whatever. But I am at a point where I have, you know, kind of developed a, rela uh, a um, reputation for myself, not only in the real estate industry, um, uh, but just, you know, with, with, with people knowing that, look, I'm telling people there's an economic collapse coming, uh, that there is a fundamental reset of this economy coming. And there's some people that, I, you know, hedge fund managers that have heard this argument that I've made in closed door meetings that have said, you know, Fabian, that makes a lot of sense. Others that think I'm crazy. Uh, others that watch my YouTube videos and they're like, this dude is totally nuts. Because if you Google my name, I'm out there, okay? First thing that comes up is, boom, Fabian for Liberty. I'm not hiding it, okay? I'm totally, this is who I am, all right? I've, my career's been affected by it. I mean, you know, I think mostly now it's positive because a lot of the things I've been talking about for the last year with respect to the pump and dump is coming uh, to fruition exactly how I said it would. And so people see that and they're like, okay, well, this guy clearly knows what he's talking about. So... Look, for me, real estate investing is an easy one. It's easy because anyone can start get started. You don't need money to invest, which is the only asset class that I know of that that could happen with. I mean, you could borrow money. There's a bunch of different techniques that you could use to buy a property with no money. I don't advocate taking on any debt. I don't advocate you holding the real estate long term. In fact, everything that I advocate, I mean, all those other po points are other real estate tactics that you could use depending on your comfort level. I mean, I take on some debt. Um, that I think is good at that because I'm buying properties at 75% below market value. Even if markets collapsed by 75%, I would still be able to sell the property and, and walk away from it. But for the novice person, I say, look, there's all kinds of strategies that you could use to um, buy, sell on the same day and never own it, never have to manage it, never have to worry about it. And it's easier uh, than you think, really, when you adopt this 21st century mindset towards um, – towards real estate investing because the real estate industry has totally changed. Look, if you've been watching my videos for some time and you've seen some of my things that I've talked about begin to happen in your own life, because I've always said, don't take my word for it, just go do your own research. I don't want anybody to take my word for it. Um, trust yourself, don't trust me, just do your own research. But um, with the pump and dump, go back to when I did House of Cards and look and do your research on how everything that I've talked about, even before that, in the Greg Hunter videos, have been coming to fruition. So you're the one who ultimately decides this. If you watch this channel, you believe, I think, in individual liberty and you believe that you should not be a slave to government or their propaganda. Becoming an entrepreneur is a way where you can chart your own course. Again, whether you decide to use my program, whether you decide to become a farmer, trade commodities, build a blog, a new news station, people that are yearning for news like Christopher Green over at AMTV who's building his own network. That's what entrepreneurship is all about. I'm Fabian for Liberty. Thanks for watching. I'm out.